The Postal Service did one album, and many people think it was a perfect album. February 19, 2003, the one and only album from the Postal Service, called Give Up, was the bittersweet, angsty, sonic manifesto for an entire generation of teens and 20-somethings. Those of us who remember when we were called old millennials will have a hard time accepting that two decades have passed since this album dropped. Of course, the Postal Service is not really a band. Ben Gibbard had already established himself as the frontman of Death Cab for Cutie, which has formed in the 1997. He's one half of the Postal Service, and his airy vocals and lyrics sounding very much like many other great Death Cab albums, and yet Give Up predates Death Cab's 2003 album Transatlanticism by eight months. Yes, there are two Gibbard projects that were released the same year. But Give Up isn't a Death Cab for Cutie album, any more than Paul McCartney's Ram is a Beatles album. However, the memorable duet with Gibbard on the track Nothing Better is sung with Jen Wood of the band Tattletale. It's tempting to say Nothing Better is the best song on Give Up, mostly because it's certainly the one that's great live and has the most unique and creative structure. That said, Jenny Lewis sings on nearly all the other Postal Service tracks, which does make it seem like she's really in this band. Track for track, though, it's tough to find a bad song on Give Up, from the opening anthem, The District Sleeps Alone Tonight, to the mega-famous track, Such Great Heights, to Clark Gable and Sleeping In. Each one of these songs gives other Death Cab singles a run for their money. Throughout the trick of creating a catchy, upbeat melodies paired with melancholy lyrics works almost every single time, except for maybe The Place is a Prison, which doesn't really go anywhere. The classics on Give Up are so good that when Iron and Wine covered such great heights in 2006, all you hipster friends erroneous believed that the Postal Service had stolen the song rather than the other way around. In 2013, this cover appeared on the 10th anniversary reissue of Give Up along with the Shins covering We Will Become Silhouettes. Those covers are great, but neither is a near as good as the Postal Service originals. It's tempting to say Give Up was a product of its time and therefore dated, but if you listen to it now, it feels just as contemporary and slick as it sounded 20 years ago. It's upbeat enough to avoid being straight-out emo and sophisticated enough to make its genre somewhat undefinable. 20 years later, any idealistic future has yet to arrive, so now there could be nothing better than putting this album on loud and dancing and crying like you're 25 again. Well, that's all for this one. Be well and do good things. Mm -hmm.